Now let's look at the heart's conduction system on page 12 of the Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation Workbook. So uh, just a quick review of the, the basics of the heart's conduction system. Um, the sinoatrial node, as we discussed in a previous uh, slide presentation, is located in the top right hand corner of the right atrium and it is the heart's intrinsic pacemaker so it possesses this property of autom automaticity, the ability to generate impulses without external stimulation and of course it is influenced by the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems which uh, work in a check and balance manner to increase and decrease the heart rate in order to meet the body's metabolic demands and once the impulse is generated from the SA node, it sends a wave of electrical current across both atria via these internodal pathways. And um, the impulse reaches the AV node, where the impulse slows. And this gives time for the atria to contract and expel its, uh, the remaining content into the ventricles. And the AV node connects to the bundle of his via the AV junction. Um, and um, so once the impulse emerges from the AV node, it hits these thick um, conduction fibers called the bundle of Hiss. And the, the bundle of Hiss is a lot like the Audubon. So if you think of the AV node as like uh, a, um, a toll booth uh, where the impulse slows, and then it hits this rapid highway and travels very rapidly down uh, the bundle of Hiss and into the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch, and finally into the Purkinje fibers where it allows the ventricles to depolarize and contract. So why does the impulse get slowed at the AV node? Um, well, obviously to uh, allow time for the atria to contract and expel its content. You'll remember from a previous slide presentation that I uh, mentioned that when blood returns to the heart via the inferior and superior vena cava and via the pulmonary veins, the tricuspid and mitral valves are open and the blood passes from the atria to the ventricles passively until the ventricles achieve about 70% of their volume. And at that point, the atria then contract, propelling the remaining 30%. And so the AV node um, slows the impulse down uh, for just a few milliseconds to allow the impulse to travel uh, or the, the atria to contract, expel its content. Now, if we look at the AV node anatomically, one of the reasons why it slows is that one, the AV node has a slightly longer refractory period than other tissue, and two, uh, the AV node is composed of a whole bunch of patchy areas of non-conductive tissue, so that when the wave of depolarization hit, hits the AV node, it's, uh, the impulse has to weave its way around all these areas of non-conductive tissue until they reach the bundle of Hiss, and then uh, these thick conduction fibers allow the impulse to travel very, very rapidly down the bundle of Hiss. So this allows time for the atria to contract, as I mentioned earlier, and then the, the impulse picks up speed in the bundle of Hiss. So um, as I mentioned in a previous presentation, the SA node is the heart's intrinsic pacemaker. It has a group of cells that fire the fastest, and the cell or group of cells that fire the fastest control the heart rate. So that's typically the SA node in a normal healthy heart. But should the SA node fail, there are other backup pacemaker sites that can take over. So the inherent uh, firing rate of the SA node is between 60 and 99 beats per minute. And I say 99 because um, 100 beats per minute would constitute a tachycardia. And anything less than 60 beats per minute would constitute a bradycardia. So the SA node generally fires between 60 and 80 in a normal resting adult, but we'll say 60 to 99. If the SA node failed, the AV junction will hopefully kick in, and it has a, an inherent firing rate of between 40 and 60 beats per minute. And if that failed, the Brickinji fibers can take over, and they have an inherent firing rate of between 20 and 40 beats per minute. Now, when, say, when I say inherent, that doesn't necessarily mean that junctional rhythms will always fire at 40 to 60, or ventricular impulses will always fire at 20 to 40. Those are just the inherent rates. 